It's really an honor to be with you today and talk about one of our God-given rights. The founders of this country established and recognized, they didn't establish, but they recognized the sec Second Amendment, the Bill of Rights. And the, what they said basically is, you have a right to defend yourself against wrongdoers and also against a tyrannical government. That's what the Second Amendment was about. And when we talk about following the law, I think of a case that just came out of Minnesota not too long ago. A young man killed someone with a gun, put a gun against their head and killed him. You know what he was sentenced to? 10 months, 10 months. Who knows how long he'll serve? You have to enforce the law. You have to provide the deterrent. When Thomas Massey talks about background checks, he's exactly right. They're not working, and the reason they're not working is because you put garbage in, you get garbage out. Absolutely. And what you have going on is you have 72,000 people denied, but there's only enough evidence to prosecute 13, which tells you you have a whole lot of false positives, which is also why we're not even looking at it anymore. So Thomas is exactly right on that point. And I'll just finish with this thought. You know what drives the evil and the mass killings that we see from time to time in this country? It isn't the instrumentality. It is evil in the hearts of somebody. And that evil is allowed to corrupt and corrode because we are attacking persistently the institutions which are designed and recognized by the founders, by the framers, and until, until 60, 70 years ago, were respected throughout this country. I'm talking religious institutions, I'm talking familial institutions, I'm talking the family and churches. If you want to see a renaissance of a period of time where you're not going to see mass shootings, you're not going to see the alienation that comes and that, that seems to be the cause of some of these, these, evil, these evil acts, you have to acknowledge that the institutions in this country need to be reformed as much as anything else. The Second Amendment deserves to be protected. I deserve to have my rights. Everyone here deserves to have their right to carry and bear an arm. And with that, I'm going to stand with my colleagues who are here today, and there are many more in this body that are going to stand and fight for the Second Amendment. Thank you.